Hey guys, this is Amy from Jack and Amy Dev. In this new series, I want to share with you guys everything I know about host permissions, tabs permission, and the active tab permission. If your extension has been rejected for having excessive permissions, you will not want to miss this opportunity to understand how each host permission works and confidently explain to the Chrome Web Store how you are using this permission, and if you do not need it, you can simply remove it. In this video, we will talk about the Chrome Tabs API. As you can see in the Chrome Tabs documentation in the permissions section, it says that the majority of the extension Tabs API methods can be used without declaring any permissions at all. But which ones? We're going to be looking at the most important ones and how we can use them without any permissions at all. Let's get started. Okay, first let's take a quick look at our manifest so you can see how we're asking for absolutely no permissions at all. And the name is Tabs API with no permissions. Okay, let's look at our background page real quick and we'll start from top to bottom. And uh, we're gonna start by creating a, an ex uh, URL, um, which is gonna be our coffee account. And we are going to follow these steps. First, we're going to duplicate and we're going to log. Um, we're going to duplicate using the tab to ID. Um, we're going to fo focus on the first tab, which you do that with tabs dot highlight. Then we're going to navigate to the Jack and Amy dev uh, URL where using the tabs to update. Then we're going to close one of the tabs, the first one, and then we're going to query for the active tab. Finally, we're going to try to inject a content script using the tabs.execute script. Okay, let's head over to the extension. Okay guys, so we're at the extensions dashboard and I have the background page developer tool open so we can look at the console logs that we uh, put in our code. Okay, let's execute this and see what happens. Okay, so first we create the website, then we duplicate it. Now this one gets highlighted right here. Now it's gonna update with the new URL. Oh, now that one is removed, that one was quick. Okay, so now we did the tabs.query and when we try to execute the script, we run into a runtime last error that you don't have access to the content of the page. The extension manifest must request permission to access this respective host. Here we go, host permissions. One of the things that we should notice is that we did get a tab object, but with absolutely no specific information, only general. For example, if the tab is active, if even the hide, if it's highlighted, if we're an incognito, um, if it's muted, even the muted information, if it's pinned. So if you need access to any of this type of information of the tab, then you do not need any permissions. Um, however, if you try to execute a script or query by the URL or title, you're gonna need some kind of host permissions. So, in this demonstration, we were able to see how we can do um, use a lot of the tabs methods without any permissions at all. So if you are using any of these and you request the tabs permission and you got a rejection, it's probably because you actually didn't need it. Okay guys, I hope this demonstration was useful to show you how you can still use most common chrome.tabs API methods without any permissions. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at host permissions, both narrow and broad. If you've enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any comments or support in the comments below. And good luck with your Chrome extension. Bye.